swampy area, you've got to get past all that random pile of crap they sell. <laughs> Everything's two for a tenner. I couldn't help myself. I'm a sucker for a bargain. When he stopped for a shit, I come out with a two-man tent. <laughs> Director's chair and a torch with the power of a million candles. Oh, oh you've seen them, have you? The torch with the bloody winds me up. It's bloody winds me up. The torch with the power of a million. For 3 99 a million candles for 3 99 That's going to spell the end of the single candle. Don't expect to see them for long. <laughs> Who's going to buy a single candle when you can get a million for 3 99 Tesco's do candles in packs of five for 1 99 It's a saving of nearly 400 grand, you get in there? <laughs> well, it's not much, but every little helps. <laughs> I've got no idea how bright that is. Why don't people talk to you in a language? You can understand. Give me a frame of reference I can understand. Is that a, I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't think in candles, do you? I thought, not a hundred thousand's got to be enough for any domestic situation. <laughs> God, have you ever been down the cellar with 900,000 candles? <laughs> oh, this is bloody hopeless. <laughs> I can't see a thing down here. Mother, throw me down another hundred thousand, would you? There? They're in the second draw down, I think. Let's get a bit of bloody light down here before I do myself an injury. <laughs> I've only ever seen 26 candles lit at any one time. It was my granddad's 90th. He was mental by then. He didn't know. <laughs> he did have 90, but I got it a bit late and blowing out the first 64 killed him, unfortunately. <laughs> I said to the guy in the shop, I said, when am I ever going to need this? Realistically, when am I ever going to need a torch with the power of a million bloody cat? He, he didn't know, but he starts giving me the hard sell. It was for a really dark place, mate. <laughs> oh, imagine you lost something in a really dark place. It could be really useful. That I thought, how dark are we talking? He said, what's the darkest place you can think of? I don't, I don't know, inside a shoe? <laughs> he said, well, there you go. He said, there you go. I've never lost anything in my shoes. I only keep my feet in there and I've never lost them. <laughs> He said, I bet you keep your keys in your shoes when you play sport. I said, I suppose I do from time to time, but I've never lost them either. I just finished playing sport, tip the shoe up and out the keys come. <laughs> he said, well, you could say goodbye to doing that if you buy this torch.